Italians have long celebrated Christopher Columbus in tribute to their shared heritage. In 1937, President Roosevelt proclaimed October 12th as Columbus Day. And in 1971, President Nixon declared Columbus Day a national holiday to be observed on the second Monday of October. Okay, and why? Because Columbus discovered America and proved that the Earth was round. Except that's not quite how it happened, which isn't to say we don't have plenty to thank him for. Let's take a look at Christopher Columbus, the man behind the myth, behind the holiday. We all know how it started. On August 3rd, 1492, Columbus and his three ships, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, set out from Spain and embarked on an historic journey. True, but let's settle the why once and for all. Columbus wasn't trying to prove the Earth was round. He didn't need to. Greek mathematician Pythagoras suspected we were living on a sphere as early as the 6th century BC and Aristotle backed him up two centuries later when he noticed the Earth's shadow could be seen during a lunar eclipse, sliding past the moon in miniature, and it was round. So why did Columbus bother getting off the couch at all? Money. In the 15th century, spices were a hot commodity. Traders shipping them between Asia and Europe could get rich quick. However, with the fall of Constantinople to the Turks, Europe lost its most popular route to the treasures of the East. Columbus realized his opportunity, become the first person to plot a Western route to Asia and enjoy unprecedented glory and riches. Inconsistent maps made calculating routes difficult. Columbus finally charted a southwestern course he believed was short enough to keep him and his men from dying of starvation and thirst. Spain's Queen Isabella, eager to expand her empire, agreed to roll the dice on Columbus's route. So on that August morning in 1492, Columbus and his men sailed off in those famous ships, laden with hopes of finding their way to Asia and making both Spain and themselves a heck of a lot of money. After a pit stop in the Canary Islands, the charted world was behind them. Columbus had been right not to trust existing maps, but he didn't realize that his own plotted course to Asia was short by nearly 10,000 miles. Luckily, a series of islands, the future West Indies, lay almost exactly where he believed India to be, and the relieved sailors made landfall. This is where things get tricky. We're still not sure of the exact location where Columbus first landed, but he was convinced he'd made it to India and declared the route successful. Mission accomplished. The Indians who greeted him were actually an indigenous people who had lived there for centuries. So the claim that Columbus discovered the Americas is only true from a European perspective. But as far as Columbus was concerned, he was right where he'd expected to be. In an exotic land full of natives and spices. Columbus returned to the Spanish court a hero. All were convinced the route was a success and it surely was, but not as they'd expected. Columbus inadvertently achieved the monumental task of joining the two hemispheres, in effect doubling the size of the habitable planet and establishing trade between the continents. So on Columbus Day, raise a glass to famed navigator Christopher Columbus, who missed the mark and hit it just the same.